Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday in Shapeshifters Team 4 was an absolute madness, and so was Summer Swaps. The packs are absolutely insane with the cards they dropped yesterday, and especially the player picks, that 95 plus Shapeshifter player pick is unbelievable. I don't know if you guys saw any of these opened yesterday, I'm sure some of you did, but the 20 three token pack this this pack is just unreal uh for the value that it, that it is with 23 tokens and just the cards that are available from it it was absolutely crazy summer swap stole the show yesterday 100 so i want to take a look at all of that the shapeshifter team four cards that are dropping like crazy in price right now as we move into the friday night saturday morning time frame as they usually do over the weekend and take a look at maybe an EA mistake. We're really not sure. We had two SBCs yesterday. We're wondering if the Chris Wood was actually a mistake because it was released early before 6 p.m. content. So we'll take a look at all that and maybe what to expect today on Saturday in this video. If you're enjoying the videos, as of always, hit the thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, of course, yesterday was headlined by the Summer Swaps Rewards being released and so many people yesterday were very quick to go out and either open their fodder packs for the 82, 83, 84 times 25, maybe the 85 times 20. Then there was also a lot of people going out and claiming their player picks, maybe a 93 plus or a 95 plus tots. But I saw so many people yesterday and we opened a lot of these on stream the 95 plus shapeshifters player pick. I think this was one of the most popular packs that was open yesterday. And I don't think it really disappointed. It was phenomenal because if you take a look at this graphic, the player pool, shout out to Compembro on um, Twitter for creating this. The player pool of items that you have that are 95 plus shapeshifters, one of five, it is such an elite and small player pool that you have so many cards that are just fantastic. There were hardly any L's that you could be getting from the 95 plus player pick. Now, I did not actually complete mine yet, so I have not opened it. But for a lot of you guys that did, or maybe if you're thinking about doing this pack now after you saw it yesterday, I think that this is the best value player pick or pack that is in summer swaps this right here you have so much potential for a high tier card like a messi ronaldo ribery son marcelo and then the, the hero shapeshifters like ginola abedi pele cordoba cordoba was almost in like every single one of these packs or player picks it was crazy especially since it's one of five a lot of players that you saw in there you you saw a lot of mario gomez you saw a ton of cordoba he had a really really high pack weight but that's an insane card right so you don't mind getting that one we saw a lot of Delict, we saw a lot of Spinazzola, Grealish, Silas, but we also saw a lot of the really, really elite tier cards. I saw people packing Ribéry and Sun, uh, Cordoba. We got a Betty Pelé multiple times. We got a lot of Alfonso Davies. He wasn't even that um, rare. We had a Kyle Walker that we packed. There were just, this player pick was 100% the best value from the swaps yesterday. Now, there were some other good ones that were out too. Uh, the 96 plus e fix, which technically you can't get yet. I think today, if this is a pack that you wanted to go for, today on Saturday, we should be getting our 30th token. So this will be, um, I guess, available. Uh, one of five for 96 plus e figs. I think this could rival the, the Shapeshifters pack just because there's even fewer cards that are in this. And there's some pretty elite tier cards in here. So you're probably going to see a lot of like Vlahovic, Berardi, you know, uh, Van Dyke, probably uh, Immobile is going to pop a lot from this player pick as well. But if you really want to hit a top tier Tots card, you're going to have a really high percentage chance of doing that from the 96 plus e figs Tots. And the, on the other side of the coin, and we talked about this a bit yesterday, I was really trying to say that if you didn't want to open your fodder packs, if you didn't need the fodder right away, you probably didn't have to open these yesterday and i saw a lot of people that did and they were very very hit or miss i saw people open 85 times 20s and not get a single promo card in them and the reason being for what we talked about yesterday if you are holding on to these which i think is the best uh if you have fodder or you you know don't feel like you have to do an SBC right now in this game. Maybe you can do some player picks and craft it this next week. But if you don't need all the crazy fodder, it's really worth it to save these for footies because you're going to get even better fodder and more higher rated players when there's 100 players in packs most likely this next Friday compared to only having 11 in packs right now with Shapeshifters Team 4. So, you know, we did pack a couple nice cards like a Cordoba out of an 8425, but a lot of these were just a lot of gold walkouts. So, Again, the fodder packs were okay. 
Uh, and that's why in yesterday's video, we were really starting to say, or if you even haven't, if you haven't spent any of your tokens yet, really take a look at, should I take one of these higher tier player picks first before opening my fodder packs or even coming with this Kempembe card, this 95 Kempembe is unbelievable. They gave five star skills to the center defensive mid version. So they gave the defending player five star skills and the center attacking mid Kempembe, the 92, they gave him a five star weak foot. Seems a little bit backwards, but this 95 Kempembe CDM card, it looks unbelievable. And it, like, what a card. I'm even contemplating choosing this over the 95 plus shapeshifters player pick, but just the fun that this SBC looks like and all the great pulls we saw yesterday, I think I wanna go for this one right here. All of those are great options. Uh, and then I'm gonna save my fodder packs for later on, but it was an absolute blast opening these yesterday. That was the highlight of yesterday, 100%. Now I think the second highlight of yesterday on the game was actually the shapeshifters cup plus which in this one we have you have a week to do this all you have to do is win five matches in that first goal cup mode right shapeshifters cup two it's golden goal you get a swaps token a 25k pack and a shapeshifter player pack which is one shapeshifter player from either team three or team four and i actually i think yesterday we packed somebody a um a joe cole from the shapeshifters cup plus so some people got it done they went 5-0 in the friendly mode and they opened this pack right away it's going to be very easy to get throughout the rest of this week so this is a w from ea as well we had the dan james objective yesterday which is not bad there's no swap tokens from this and it's six matches that's all you have to do in live foot friendly shifting shape so a nice you know Premier league link to gareth bale if you're running him and you did his end of an error card Pretty interesting card there for Dan James. Pretty cool. So I have no problems with that. Now, the part of content yesterday that got really interesting before we look at the cards that are in packs was the SBCs because we had not one, but two SBCs dropped yesterday, which is abnormal for a Friday content drop. The first one that we had was Diego Melito, and he got the player pick just like Ole last week. We have a center attacking mid and a right wing version of Melito, and it really feels the exact same way as the Ole did, right? You have a right wing version, a winger version with more pace, more shooting, less dribbling and passing. And then you have the midfield version with less pace and shooting, but more dribbling and passing. These are both four star, four star. There was really no change. I think the only difference between the two is one has a strong foot that is like a switch. The center attacking mid has a, let me look at it on footbin here really fast. The center attacking mid Milito has the Let's see, he is right-footed, four-star, four-star average body type, and then the right wing card is left-footed. He does have the finesse shot trait, so that's kind of nice of EA to switch that up. Kind of interesting, but I was hoping for one of these two to have five-star skills. Maybe if the wing version had five-star skills, that'd be pretty cool. I, I don't know which one is favored at the moment. It looks like maybe verse, or via the thumbs up that the center attacking mid-central card is more of the favorite, but for 479,000 coins, that card yesterday didn't make too many waves. The SBC that did make some waves, though, is one that we're, I'm just really curious if EA made a mistake with this Chris Wood center back. Obviously, it's a pretty insane position change, right? He's going from striker to center back, plus 54 defense on his card. This was a card that we did have as a leak. We kind of knew that it was coming, but the problem was this SBC went live on like Xbox like 10 to 15 minutes early. The SBC was showing up on Xbox consoles and in the web app 10 to 15 minutes early and then it was out on their console but it was not out on the PS or PlayStation um, and then they took it off of the Xbox after like an hour or an hour and a half and then now it's back on all consoles everywhere so really confused on this one honestly I don't think EA meant to drop this SBC yesterday I think this was supposed to be our SBC today on Saturday and I think that might make today a little bit of a dead day of content if I'm being completely honest um, it honestly reminds me of if you remember last week we had just before 6 p.m content of shapeshifters team three we had a Trent Alexander Arnold like leak in the web app and in the game you could see like the little infographic that they usually show to kind of like advertise the SBC right like right here this little infographic that we have for Chris Wood there was one of those last week Friday, right before content for Trent Alexander Arnold, his SBC was not dropped. We had the Ole. So we had the Chris Wood kind of the same scenario yesterday. And it really seems like, 
I think this Chris Wood was not supposed to be dropped yesterday, but EA Sports just was like, okay, we put him out on Xbox. He's been out for an hour. We messed it up. We're just going to put him out on the game. So we had two SBCs instead of just one, which this card, low high work rates, 94 acceleration. His agility balance isn't that high. But that looks like a pretty good Premier League center back. Really interesting card to try out. I want to get this done and put him in the club just because it looks cool and interesting. So it's not that expensive either. It's 150K. So a nice Prem center back if you want to try him out or just to do something different and, and use a fun card in your team. That was an interesting part of content yesterday as well. So that's kind of the only question mark. The SBC content yesterday was just not that great. We did have a 93 plus tots and shapeshifter player pick that was repeatable uh, for a second time yesterday. And that actually moved the SBC fodder market a lot. And that's what I want to talk about next is the market and what happened with the token pack and stuff like that. Um, obviously, at 6 p.m. yesterday, everybody went and spammed their packs, right? It was all about their this pack right here, the swaps token pack, which was not as good as last week, if we're being honest. And then, of course, everybody went out and they opened their summer, um, summer swaps rewards. So in that first little bit, there was a lot of panic on the market, especially with SBC fodder. I remember looking on Footbin and seeing prices of like your higher rated 90, 90 rated cards like Harry Kane. This Harry Kane card was 33, 34,000 coins in that first like 10 to 15, 20 minute time frame after the content drop. And of course, now you can see that he's around 40K. A lot of your fodder um, went really low. The higher tier stuff went really low right away. I don't even know if Footbin is going to even show the the fluctuation on the graph because it happened so fast. Yeah, it says that he was like 34. They were all like 35, 36. He went down to 32. They do show it. And then he has spiked, right? So we had a really big spike on the higher tier of fodder. It's really only the higher tier stuff, right? So what that tells me is people were going out and they were doing that 93 plus because that requires an 88 squad, which needs higher fodder and Gareth Bale. Both of those SBCs and the 92 plus icon moments have some higher tiered squads in them. So people were going out and doing those. Your 87s, I think, were even like 12K and 13K. Now they're 18,000 coins a card. Your 86s are still 10, like 11 to 12,000 coins. Your 85s are still low. 6.5K for 85s is really, really cheap. So it's just kind of like, I don't know. We had 85s at 11K last week. And 85s uh, yesterday, it's still today for me. I'm recording this a little bit early. This is still Friday late, uh, late night. But, you know, these guys have been dropping all day long. It was that higher tier fodder that kind of has a higher price range and had a boost in price yesterday after the content. Now, we have not had the late night lightning rounds yet. So, like I've been talking about and like we have seen basically every single Friday into Saturday on this game, you see the late night lightning rounds, your 84 plus duo, 85 plus star, all that stuff, which right now they are running 84 plus star trio packs, which what's the pack percentage? Man, the pack weight is awful, guys. Like eight, three, three players, 84 plus. And usually for team of the season, this was like a 10% pack weight for a Tots card. It's 3.8 for a shapeshifters and 2.1 for a foot hero shapeshifters. I'll open one because we made coins yesterday. Why not? Uh, but these do not look that good. We're unpacking a walkout, which is what you'd expect. Luka Modric. Okay, so these lightning rounds are what's going to make fodder drop down tonight because look at that, right? 87, 85, 84. I just packed three 84s, four 84s or above, five actually with, with, all, and with a duplicate. So that's what's going to make fodder drop late Friday into today on Saturday. So I would continue to watch these fodder prices. I really think that the 84s, the 85s are going to be investable. And over the weekend, whether it's today on Saturday, tonight, Saturday night, or even Sunday tomorrow, I think it's a great opportunity to be looking into the fodder market because especially like the 84s and 85s, 3K for 84s to like, if they go down below 3000 coins, that is dirt cheap. So I think that th since these cards weren't as in demand as much, they're going to be in demand at some point again. So if you have a little bit of patience and you know, like, hey, if I'm buying PK under 3000 coins, you know, that's an incredible deal, you know, being 3.9K, I think that's going to be possible. Or if you're buying even a guy like Ziek, just these, the, the 84s that have the good links, and uh, are in the off positions that are needed a lot of times in SBCs. These guys are going to do really well in the next two weeks or three weeks, especially with footies on the horizon. And footies is a big time of the year for SBCs. So that's kind of what I would expect for fodder. Low point this weekend per usual. I don't know that it's really going to go up today on Saturday. Let's talk about that for a second. What would make fodder go up today? Do you have to go and buy it right now? 
I don't think so, right? If we have an SBC coming today, there is only one leaked card right now that could be dropped, and it's this Ricardo Pereira flashback SBC. Now, there could be another leak today, you know, there, that could actually happen 100%, but this is the only other SBC card that we have leaked at the moment, a flashback Ricardo Pereira. So we will see if that drops today or if we honestly get no content. Like seriously, there might not be an SBC today if Chris Wood was supposed to be the SBC that dropped today instead. So not sure. We probably won't get any official communication from EA on that because it, you know, it was like a mistake. But since they kind of rectified it by just putting the SBC out and giving it to us, there's not really a problem. So that's kind of that. In, uh, in regards to today's content. Now, let's look at Shapeshifter Team 4 cards. Some of you guys might be like, Nate, I, I want to try a couple of these guys this weekend. I want to try them in Weekend League. Um, these prices are still falling. You've had a couple bounce backs, right? I bought a Jill Cole at 370. He bounced back to three, uh, 440, and I sold him there. You can see right here, right? He was down at 370. He was just at 448. Now he's coming back down again. This is the usual Friday night into Saturday morning fluctuation. You have a couple cards that will bounce back up in price. A Betty Pele went from 4 million coins all the way down to 1.6, 1.7. As you can see, 173, he's back up to 2 mil, right? A lot of fluctuation, but like a Betty Pele is probably going to get back to 1.7 mil at some point Friday night into Saturday morning again. These cards will continue to get supply with the lightning rounds. And if, I, I would imagine that a couple of them, a couple of them rebound up today to Saturday, but I'm not expecting any really crazy movements. The ones that will move the most will probably be your rare ones. And some of your rare ones from this team are Kyle Walker center back card, who I believe 1.1 mil for this is a bit overpriced, but he is incredibly rare. If we take a look, I bet he has like two pages, one page. That's it on the market. Wow. 1.16 for Kyle Walker is pretty crazy um, for how rare that he is. There's a lot of cards here around 116, 115. So I think that it's going to bring a good opportunity to trade with a few of these. Conte as well. Conte is extremely, extremely rare. Right now, he's got over one page. He is listed at 4.99. Wow, that's crazy. This card was selling at 8 million coins for a while yesterday. Um, for at least a couple hours, he was at 8 million coins. He, like I said, and you can see, incredibly, incredibly rare card. Um, the Di Natale is in the same boat as well. Some of these prices, you might be watching this video and you're like, Nate, these guys have like gone up or they've had some crazy fluctuations. Di Natale... Uh, two, seven. Yeah. Two, two, eight, two, seven. Like I would not buy this card right now. He's not going to rebound right now because look at all these that are at two, seven or two, eight. The Conte card though, that almost interests me a little bit because this is the best Conte we've had all year. And Conte was selling at seven, eight million coins earlier on. How many cards of Conte do we have to like 5.6? We've got a few, but that's a huge drop off in the last little bit. So if the supply kind of stops and you guys can learn to watch this stuff is when on a really rare card like these, when the supply really kind of dries up, I'm not expecting many listings under five mil for Conte. Maybe he goes to like four and a half, but he's already dropped like 50% in price from where he was starting at. And he's getting kind of cheap and he's really rare that we'll have to see if he bounces back up. But on the lower tier for maybe a guy like Delict or Claude Maurice or like Dempsey, it's kind of like last week with Shapeshifters Team 3 where... You have a few of those really expensive cards like Di Natale, you have Abedi Pele, Conte, and Walker, all over a million coins. Then the rest of your team is really affordable. I love the Pepe card. GG's EA, love the stats, really fun card. Use them in squad battles for the um, tokens if you haven't done that yet. You need first owner cards, but I think you could use one that's not first owner. Just go buy yourself a Pepe, try them out, 50K, easy, right? And a fun card. Delict looks pretty cool. Claude Maurice is a nice French left back, really cheap card. Um, Dempsey, I'm, I'm stoked for Dempsey, man. 91,000 coins. I think he might be a little bit undervalued, actually, since he has the Premier League left wing links, and he is a decent card. Uh, I got him as my lone player yesterday. Cordoba, this is a really interesting card to talk about. I mentioned that he was really, really packable from the 95 plus player pick. So packable, it was insane. He went down to 315 is back up to 360, but a lot of people are still running that Chiellini center back card. They've got El Sharawi, they've got Spinazzola or Tonali. A lot of Serie A links are still alive, so I really like this Cordoba card for some fluctuation this weekend, although he is not rare at all. He's just the guy that you're going to want to use. If I mean, this guy is really a center back, but he's a right back. I know we had the Italian uh, right back guy that was an SBC earlier this week, but this card is an incredible, incredible center back in game. FIFA 21 vibes with a right back at center back, but 
you know, Shapeshifters Team 4, I'm fine with it. I'm happy with it. Uh, that means our mini release is going to be Cahill, Diodara, and David Silva on Sunday. We'll talk more about that as we get closer to that time frame. But that's kind of what we're looking at and expecting for that. Last thing to talk about today. We, we showed you guys yesterday a Twitter account called Foot Leader, right? And he was leaking some of the cards in the team. We had a crazy scenario happen yesterday. And I just want to go over this really quick because this is probably one of the craziest like things of FIFA Twitter that we have ever seen in the, in the longest time that I've been in the FIFA community, right? So we had this account called Foot Leader who leaked like the entire team, right? He got a lot of these guys correct. He got the wood card. He said he was in the team. That was one of the things he got wrong. But he got the Kempembe uh, stats like almost spot on. Hydara, Claude Maurice. Like he got all of the player names correct for who was in this promo. Yesterday at the content drop, he tweets uh, that he's not going to stick around. He basically is saying that I was disappointed with how leaks are being abused by selfish individuals, countering um, knowledge is power, and like basically saying that he is not tweeting anymore. Really quick note, I'm not an EA employee. In summary, I've enjoyed a four-day stretch living rent-free in a certain leaker's head, but unfortunately the lease is up, though I won't name names. Finally, we only have one thing to say, foot leader out. So uh, this, this, this account right here, basically in a five-day time span, went from zero followers to 31 or 32,000 followers. And is now, he basically did this to say that, hey, you can go get leaks kind of wherever you want if you know the right people. And he did this to try to get in the head. And a lot of you guys, you know, we talk about Foot Sheriff, right? Foot Sheriff is the main leaking account on Twitter. But a lot of people, you know, do not like Foot Sheriff because they think that he either sells the leaks or that he is... Um, basically like profiting off of them and has a, a patreon or a discord or something which we don't know if it's true or not but a lot of people just don't like foot sheriff because of the, the whole leaking situation and so this account literally he this guy made this account to say that he was doing this um for to try to get clout and basically live like you know live rent free in foot sheriff's head and make him worry about being taken over as the best leaker account on fifa um for for at least a few days so also he has a hidden message if you take a look at the first capital letter of every single tweet that is in here i'll let you guys do this i'll leave the link to this twitter uh post down in the description if you want to have a little bit of saturday research fun absolutely crazy it's the stuff we've never seen before man like i did not expect at all to see this we thought we were going to have a new leak account going forward with the guy that had some you know quicker info quicker access to info and all of a sudden we find out that it is just kind of a a, a scheme to uh create some banter really is what it was about so it's a huge laugh and it is pretty funny i know leaks are a touchy subject subject for a lot of people um, and they don't like talking about it or knowing that information or thinking about it but um it was just a crazy Twitter FIFA scene yesterday. So that was kind of the biggest, that was the biggest part of non in FIFA news yesterday. Uh, the market as well, a lot of your out of packs cards had some fluctuation. Here's what I'll say, and we'll talk about this a little more tomorrow. Don't be afraid to take the coins on a few cards this weekend, especially if they bounce back. I bought Hazard at 1.18, sold them at 1.3, 1 1.37. 1 um, some really good profit there, like 300K on four cards. Don't be afraid to take some profit. You know all the panic selling that we saw for footies? But he's still coming this Friday. So if you see prices going up this weekend, and we'll talk a little bit about that tomorrow, might be time to maybe looking into selling a few cards before things get crazy again later on this next week. If you want to stay way ahead of the game, I know it's July. I know you're like, Nate, who cares? Just hold on to your cards. But that's something you might want to think through. So that's going to be all for the video today. If you did enjoy, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.